I just wanted to do another video on the Scenville HFZ units. This is the 12,000 BTU. We took a few videos this spring and uh, it's December again. Right now it's two degrees outside. The unit is running at full capacity, which my power monitor shows around 1800 watts to 1900 watts. It seems like it will peak at two kilowatts, but it holds around 1800. You can hear it sped up. I don't know if you guys can hear that. For short periods, it sounds like it gets up to two kilowatts and then it comes back down to 1800 watts of power usage. It's extremely quiet. I don't know how much you can hear on the video. I'm going to try to get up to the compressor so you guys can hear that. You can hear it wind down goes between 1800 and 2 kilowatts. This unit is two to three times quieter in the outdoor unit compared to the Fujitsu's which are much more powerful at this temperature but much louder. You almost can't hear this thing running. All you hear is a very slight noise from the fan. Very amazed with performance of the noise so at this temperature at 2 kilowatts based on graphs of how much power it uses and how much it puts out the COP is right around 1.8 and that's obviously gonna vary based on your indoor temperature the warmer it is indoors the worse your COP will be because the exchange from the indoor head is going to be worse if it's warmer inside than if you keep it at 60 or 65. I keep my house at usually 70, 75. Right now it's 79, sorry, 69, 70 degrees indoors. It's been running all night. It was 10 degrees when I turned this unit on and shut off my Fujitsu to see if it would keep up. And right now it's 2 degrees outside. And uh, like I said, it's pulling right around 1800 to 1900 watts an hour and it's still 69 degrees in my house. Last year, I took a video of it. Sorry, that was this spring. And at 10 degrees, it was already struggling to hold right around 69 degrees in my house. Yeah. This summer I went through and sealed the house up, plugged all the holes I could, sealed up any exit points where I had my dryer exit in the house, my bathroom vent, any point where I could have had air leakage. I sealed all of that up and it proved to be a big help because right now it's 10 degrees colder and it's still 69 in my house with the same exact unit. Before it, it would only hold 69 at 10 Fahrenheit. Right now it's pretty much zero outside and it's still doing the same thing. I'm going to go indoors and show the indoor head temperature which seems to hold right around 107, 108 degrees. That's the air it's putting out. Before I walk indoors, this is just my Fujitsu. I wanted to show it. I replaced this. It had a large 24,000 BTU Frederick. Um, it was too big. So this one replaced it. Much louder than the Scenville, but much more powerful. It's the 15,000 BTU RLS 3H model, uh, much more efficient too, about 30%. I was monitoring the power consumption based on specific outdoor temperatures and indoor temperatures, at least 30% more efficient. As you can see, it's two degrees outside and 69 indoors. So the indoor unit is set to maximum. And you can see 110, 111 degrees. That's what it's putting out. Now I have 
600 square feet on the first floor. And then 700 on the second floor. But I have a 12,000 V2 Fujitsu up there that feeds the rest of the upstairs. Usually pulling only a few hundred watts, 300 to 600 watts.